Good morning. We are heading for breakfast at the first floor. So we just started our day today.
smells so good in here. Much, much, much later. So it's already nighttime, 7.34 p.m. And we are on our way to a ghost tour. So it's like a group. It's actually a walking tour that my husband signed up. And it's just going to tell like the history of the area of Savannah and which are the places that, that are haunted. It will be interesting. <laughs> We're about to go on the ghost tour. These are the tour members. That's Rebecca. She's in charge. <laughs> There's some more people waiting. Nice fountain. <laughs> Some people take pictures. This is my wife close up. Notice the pimples. Notice the black marks. <laughs> You're so close up. It's unreal. She said, because we told the tour guide that we're staying. What room are you staying at in? 418. Oh my god. Marshall. <laughs> no, 414. 414 was, I think, the scariest room. And then 4, 418 is, I think, it's okay. But it'll be nice. Right, Mike? Yep. <laughs> it would be. Ghost story. This guest, I met her at McDonald's. She was staying at the Foley House Inn. She showed me some other pictures from the Foley House Inn, but let me keep this one. She took this on the second floor. Story, she was actually getting a picture of her earring she had bought in that, that day, and this camera zoomed in on something a little more interesting. Ooh. So this is up to the second floor. Window. Oh wow. Yeah. It's 15 mm. Wow. That's that's the reason for a big home, right? Mm -hmm. Uh so he had Marshall House was built in 1819 by a woman. How did we do that? To turn the land. And she hired William J, a 19-year-old boy, to build the Marshall House. The architect who was quite a genius. And she wanted him to bring a flavor of New Orleans to and so as you can see, that Marshall House provided that flavor of New Orleans. Now, along with that, you have the fact that the Marshall House was never intended to be a house, per se. It was always intended to be a hotel. And it was used as that for most of its life, except for two times when it was used as something else. Does anyone want to guess what a building like that would have been used? Hospital. Hospital? Yes. What did you say? A prison. It was a hospital. You are correct. Marshall House uh, was used as a hotel once by General Sherman's soldiers. 
General Sherman marched his march to the sea, burning everything in his path. He's coming down towards Savannah. By the way, burned down a couple too many times before we burned ourselves down because apparently having two main communal fireplaces in Johnson Square, the main square with lick houses all around, was a very bad idea. We didn't learn from this until a couple times around. So uh, we had had ourselves burned down a lot. And he's burning everything in his all the way to Savannah. I got an idea. He rides out to reach out to Chuck and says, hey, Come, live in Savannah. You might fall in love. Let your let your soldiers have a day of rest. Let them have some time of rest. And you guys can stay in the nice show houses. Soldiers can stay somewhere else. We'll get to that later on. But it was in the Marshall House that soldiers who had cuts, scrapes, and bruises and infections that turned gangrenous. Yeah, the Marshall House was used as a hospital for those soldiers. General Sherman did in fact stay here, and his Soldiers who need the amputations were the main tenants of my books. They ended up uh, having nothing more than a bullet wrapped in a belt to bite down on and maybe a shot of whiskey if they were lucky. And if that was if that was the case, they were given this and then they just start hacking away down the lines. And then that alone would send them into such pure shock that they would often die. Now, when this happened, you were left with the ghost. Traumatic instances, traumatic death, the easiest way to have a ghost, right? Well, these ghosts would wander throughout the Marshall House, and they would be sad about losing their limbs. And what do you think Savannah did with those limbs? We have fires, we have trash cans, we have rivers. Any ideas what we did with the limbs? They the buried them underneath. <laughs> I wish you were right, but he's right. We buried them underneath the floorboards of the Marshall House itself. Whoa. Literally sweeping up problems on the roof. So, uh, yeah, when the ghosts haunt the Marshall House, those ghosts would go to that place where the legs were buried for the longest time and look at the legs and their limbs or their arms long and their amputated body parts. Except, right after the period where the soldiers stayed here, the hotel went dormant because of lack of ability to keep up renovations, right? So what ended up happening at that was the home went dormant for a very long time. And they forgot about the legs. It was very cold when they were here in that winter when the Civil War stayed, so we stayed here. Limbs had frozen over. Moving into the summer, those limbs and rancid smells come from that cold war. So when they renovated, finally, they removed those limbs. And Savannah got excited when they found them. They actually found them and said, hey, We've got a serial killer on our hands. Oh. And uh, Savannah was so excited. They're like, we're going to make tabloids. This is going to be great. But no. Uh, they dated those limbs back to when the Civil War soldiers lived here. And because it was boring, they pretty much sent them to the Smithsonian in the Savannah Historic Museum, which I think is a good taste. So we just didn't really honor the poor people who had lost their limbs and their lives in that hotel. So they are very mad. Leaving us with the soldier. And the soldier is in a blue uniform and he has dark holes for eye sockets, no eyes. And we also have a ghost that will announce itself for the rats. And you think this ghost is running at you full speed ahead, right? Well, this ghost is actually running at you with a knob of separated legs as soon as it appears. I think you got a leg up on it. Those short steps, not that size. Ask goes to the Marshall House from the city. It's known as the circle. So he will wait guests in the middle of the night, rolling their blades up meticulously. <laughs> as if in preparation for a surgery. At the foot of their bed, they will be greeting them when they wake up to repose me, also cold. And he will be standing there for their Let's hope it's a ladder and not a question. 
Now, it was also used for a yellow fever. Yeah, for during the time the soldiers were here, it was about the same period. And when that happened, they were given traumatic experiences. You know, death, child, hospital, life. No, not really. Leaving us with a traumatic, traumatized body. Body boy will actually fight the end of the martial arts. One guest returns, according to Savannah, according to his family, he returns to the martial house with experience of being bitten by the body boy, and she's been successfully bitten three times and still returns. <laughs> If you're looking for a thrill, the Marshall House is the way to go. Mm -hmm. oh. Marshall House is a little too intimidating for me to stand, but if you want to stand, please do so. We have some guests from the Marshall House tonight. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Do you know, is there a specific floor where where ghost skips happening? Okay, so... Or a room. Or it's just... Yeah, <laughs> <church. Four> <laughs> yeah. four, four twelve are all extraordinarily haunted, and they take off the music in... Uh, I guess you could say the floors above where the items have been buried. Um, the fourth floor was used as the actual floor. The fourth floor. So, um, they got a lot of stuff going yep. on in the martial house. Personally, I'm a little too creeped out about it, but brave souls you are. Brave souls. <laughs> <laughs> well, last night nothing happened, so we'll see you <laughs> soon. Fourth floor. Ooh, okay. Nothing really happened. I would listen for turning I mean, for laughter. You hear any turning for laughter? Nope. How much is it to stay at the Marshall House? And last I checked, it was 204 a night. Um, yeah, no, it's about that. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's not bad for the most haunted hotel on Main Strip. Am I right, guys? Right. <laughs> yeah. right. All it's right. It's a value. So you can stay at this one. How's that sound? High five, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and for armory and all sorts of things. So. When it came time for him to try to travel back home to Rhode Island, he 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 didn't have any. Okay. So instead, Georgia was like, "Hey, you know, what? we are so grateful. Why don't you stay here?" And he's like, "But, but Rhode Island's so much cooler." Known uh, as Christ Church Cemetery, built in 1750, and burials stopped happening in 1853. Now. The Danes of the American Revolutionary War are responsible for turning this cemetery from Christchurch Cemetery, where Christchurch was a private church, and if you wanted to be buried here, you had to belong to that church. In fact, they told the people from the right square uh, cemetery over there. Not something you want to do. But if you want to take a video, you're welcome to take a video and try to see if you can capture any ghost stories. Video. Oh, this is, this is, yeah, it's a D DJI Pocket. It's not a Ghost Finder, it's your quarter. No, it's not a Ghost Finder. <laughs> I'm not that advanced. <laughs> That'd be cool. The next day. The ghost story was pretty interesting. There's a lot of ghost stories. It was a lot of fun. Ten, we got back at we're close to 10.30. I was surprised at the number of ghost tours all around. You had all these people and groups with different tours. And then you had, you know, the tour vans and buses going by. There was a lot of people because we kept running into the bunches of people. And then if ever you will come to Savannah, Georgia, there was one square that you will notice that there there is no Spanish moss. It's Johnson Square. All over Savannah there is always a Spanish moss. That's one thing that they're known for. But this <clears> square <throat> doesn't have it and then the story was pretty interesting. The sto story was that Nathan Nathaniel Green who came here uh, really liked the area and there was a, uh, a run of yellow fever and he felt that to cure yellow fever, the Spanish moss was, was causing yellow fever. So he was on a, a mission to get rid of all the Spanish moss. Well, the, U, uh, the state of Georgia didn't really go along with what he said, thought. 
okay but and when he died they buried him over in Johnson Square and just solely in that square there is no Spanish moss at all which is really weird because all the other squares they got Spanish moss in yeah so that was kind of eerie okay uh, I did like where we started over in Columbia Square which is a very quaint little square is next to the Keogh house, which had a story in and of itself. Yeah. Okay, being very haunted. Yeah. And then we told her that we were staying over in the so Marshall House. Hotel. Okay, and a lot of the people over there were like, oh my god, how yeah. can you stay there? Okay. And even the tour guide, she said, oh, I will never stay in the Marshall House. Marshall House is a little too intimidating for me to stay. I think they kind of pick up on spirits, and they knew we had good spirits, so they kind of left us alone. We never really felt anything. But I think that. We did run across, right when we got into the room, there was that little bit of odor and stench over the bathroom. In the bathroom. I noticed that right away because as soon as we walked in, I took a video and then I opened the bathroom mm. and it stink. Well, we went out that evening, we stopped by the CVS, which we didn't know was an old jail, haunted <laughs> jail. Uh, you know, so we got some Glade freshener and we squirted the lavender. It worked great, so we're fine. It makes sense now. I thought that they just didn't clean the bathroom. But, but that was the only thing that we really noticed. There were a lot of people who stayed here. For that, we're going to go and sign off because we're going to take our trip back. Thank you.
bake house right now and we're about to eat again <laughs> we just had breakfast should be like a lunch brunch brunch because it's 10 35 in the morning so we're just waiting for our order right now so we gotta keep the tradition alive yeah my husband said what did you say we have to keep the tradition alive yeah Okay, fit to the chase, where's the food? 